What's going on crew? Happy Wednesday. Let's talk about the warm up. Your warm up starting with hip circles. So what I want you to do for your hip circles, hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips. And essentially you're going to take one hip and make as big a circle as you possibly can. I want you guys to simply go 10 times around. Once you've done 10 in the one direction, you'll go in the other direction, 10 times here. Essentially, we're just getting um, blood flow to the hips, get lots of movement in them, make them feeling good before we get into the workout. For hopovers, you're gonna find a line in the ground or you can put any kind of um, low object on the ground that you're gonna jump over. Um, essentially, we're just um, working on a little bit of, of jumping, getting yourself moving for the, for the workout. So I'm just gonna use a little line on the ground and essentially what it's gonna look like is this. That's the hopover. And lastly is just a 30 second plank. So a good plank position, elbows beneath the shoulders and keep your abs turned on. So don't let your low back cave in, but instead hold the crunch position and just hold that there for the 30 seconds. If you're really ambitious, go ahead and do a minute. Your workout portion, similar to the past few Wednesdays, we're doing supersets. So we've got two different exercises. You're gonna go 40 seconds on one, 20 second rest. 40 seconds on the other, 20 second rest, and then repeat for six rounds on that superset before moving on to the next superset. For your bird dog row hold, get yourself a dumbbell. And if you don't have a dumbbell, you can fill a backpack with some books. Anything to add a little bit of weight for the row portion of the bird dog row. Uh, so a, a good bird dog position, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. You're gonna reach one leg perfectly out straight so my right leg is back, meaning that my left arm is gonna grab onto that weight. We're gonna row back and hold that position for the whole time. Good row position is elbow pulling back, not the hand up to the armpit, but more like the hand towards the holster here. Keep their back leg fully extended so that your glutes and hamstrings are working as well. If it's a little bit easy on the ground, you can find yourself a chair. And then do the same thing here. Chair is just gonna give you less surface area to work with, so it's gonna make your stability a little bit tougher. So, same setup though, I'm on the chair, one leg out, hand on the, on the dumbbell, and then we're gonna hold that position for the allotted time. Next one is towel pullbacks, laying down on the ground on your stomach. I don't have a towel, so I just rolled up my sweater, but what this is gonna look like is down on your chest, Grab onto that towel. Now in this position, I want you to think about separating that towel, pulling that towel apart as hard as you possibly can throughout this whole movement. So I'm breaking that towel. I'm gonna row up, squeezing my back muscles, and then reach out. And that's the towel pullback. Next is single leg squats. You're gonna find yourself a chair or a couch to squat onto. The lower it is, the harder it's gonna be. So find yourself the right height. And simply what you're gonna do here, get onto one leg, arms are gonna come forward for balance. I'm gonna squat down and back, and then back up again, okay? Uh, to make this difficult, or to add a little bit of um, difficulty to this exercise, simply just kiss the chair instead of sitting all the way down. So I'll show you what I mean. You can come all the way down and kind of sit on it and come back up, or keep your leg working the whole time by controlling, just touching, and then back up tall. You're doing the whole 40 seconds on one leg, and then in the next round, you're doing the whole 40 seconds on the other leg. The bear crawl push-up. Set yourself up in a good bear crawl position. So again, that's hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath your hips. Um, if you're not quite ready for the push-up, go ahead and just hold this there, just regular. But to add the push-up into it, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna point the fingers straight, elbows back, until your forehead almost touches the ground. And that's the push-up right there. Again, if the push-up's too hard, just hold it. If this takes a lot of toll on your wrists, then just put your elbows on a chair or a couch and hold the bear crawl position there. For the single leg hip thrust, probably do this on a couch. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on a chair. You just need a surface that you're gonna get your upper back or your shoulders onto. And then from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up one leg and you're gonna really think about this glute and hamstring working to keep your hips high. Don't sag down here, but keep them high for that whole time. Try to do single leg the whole time. If you absolutely can't, go ahead and bring that other leg down. For your Russian twists, 
Um, again, I've said this before, but what Russian twists should not look like is just kind of lazy, no posture, just going back and forth. What they should look like is tall in the torso, lean back, reach the arms up like you're holding Simba, and then you're gonna rotate one direction, rotate the other to make it tougher, bring the feet off, off the ground, and do the same thing. Nice and controlled, rotating from the torso. No finisher today, you're welcome. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, and we'll see you tomorrow.